Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let's look at this interesting example related to complex numbers. We have to find out sigma that means sum of the expression given here the i power n plus i power n plus 1 where n values range from 1 to 13. So we have to find out what is the sum of that where square root of minus 1 equal to i or i square equal to minus 1. Can I say that i square equal to minus 1 which is nothing but the same. So we have to find out this sum. So let's understand this. We'll try to go into the next step. We'll try to simplify this and see what happens. For that we'll separate them. We'll say n equal to 1 to 13. The first one is i power n. And the second one is n equal to 1 to 13 again, but this time it is i to the power of n plus 1. So, my this will be nothing but equal to, as I understand, if I put n equal to 1, it is i, then afterwards, if n equal to 2, it is i square, so it will continue till I go to i cube. For that, I have to add i power n plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So, this starts with i square and next i cube like that and it will end with i power 14. So, this is what actually I have to find out. Nothing more than that. Okay, fine. So, we will try to simplify this. For that, what we will do? We see that other than i and i power 4 remaining all terms are remaining all terms are repeating two times so can i simplify that and say it is nothing but equal to i the first term here and the last term here which is nothing but equal to i power 14 plus i have everything repeating two times so why can't i say that 2 into i square plus i cube like that i have to go till i power 13. So, let's simplify this. We know i equal to i and i power 14 is i square whole to the power of 7 and you know that's equal to minus 1. Anyway, we'll do that in the next step. Plus 2 into, now we will apply the formula for geometric progression. It is like a plus a r plus a r square. You have for n terms then its formula is given by a into r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So, let's substitute that. So, the formula will be now what I will write down. A is nothing but i square. Multiply that with r power n. How many terms are here? Here it is starting with second and we are going to 13. That means there are 12 terms there. You can check it. Start with 2, go towards 13. 2 to 13 is 13 minus 2 plus 1. That is 12 terms are there. So, it is nothing but equal to nothing but equal to r is equal to i. So, can I say r is equal to i? We know that and we know n equal to 12. So, can I say i power 12 minus 1 divided by r minus 1 which is equal to i minus 1. So, let us simplify this. This is equal to i plus i square is minus 1 minus 1 to the power of odd power that is nothing but equal to minus 1 only plus 2 into here I see something interesting i power 12 is i square whole to the power of 6 i square whole to the power of 6 is minus 1 whole to the power of 6 even power is equal to 1 so that becomes 1 minus 1 by i minus 1 and uh, this whole expression this whole expression becomes 0 that means we are left out with the next step will be answer is nothing but i minus 1 so, let's go through this once again. We have been given that we have to find out the sum of n to 1 13, sigma n equal to 1 to 13 for i, 
i power n plus i power n plus 1 where n values are ranging from 1 to 13. We also have been given that i square equal to minus 1 or square root of minus 1 equal to i. So what we did first we separated them then we observed that other than the first and last remaining all are repeating two times then we also see that they are in geometric progression. Why can't apply the sum of n terms for a geometric progression because here a equal to a equal to i square and r equal to i and n equal to 12. We simplify that we get this whole thing going into 0 becoming 0 and our solution is nothing but i minus 1. So that's one interesting example thought of sharing with you. We'll be doing more in the coming sessions. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now. Keep smiling and sharing. Don't forget that.